Hello every pony artist gerne her. Link to my Divinian art in the description below and also for my Patreon if you like to do that. Warning, this video will contain artwork that I did. So if you don't like artwork with my little pony, then click away. It's also going to contain my personally opinions. So if you don't like stuff like this, click away or else stay. Yeah, here we go. 3, 2, 1. So tomorrow it's uh, Christmas Eve and oh my god, I am feeling so lucky. I have family and a place um, where I can go and I can hold my Christmas. <laughs> so I'm guessing I'm making this video just to tell you guys I'm very thankful. And I hope that the new year we will come into will be a beneficial year. Um, I know that I'm going to a lot of exams and I'm preparing for the final exam uh, right now. So, or the final exam for the first semester stuff. So yeah, um, I just wanted to make this video because I was really thinking about ponies in you know the sombra army or how to say that and i made this artwork with uh, armored brony as one of the yeah legions of sombra because i really do feel like sombra is going to come back not only because we see his horn you know surviving the blast but also because i feel that Hasbro knows that we all want him back or how to say that or I don't know if we all want him back but I definitely want uh, to see him make a you know hive with a chrysalis or being resurrected and taking over and making new shadow ponies or changeling ponies I don't know I just feel like there's so much missing from the background stories of the evil counterparts also. And I was not thinking about Celestia and Luna's background stories anymore because I don't know if the show is going to give us that. But I would like to have a background story for one of the evil ones and Sombra is one of my or is my favorite villain. So I would really like to have his background story. Now, something I feel like the show could do was actually to corrupt one of the main six ponies, for example, uh, or one of the princesses. So, for example, you know, Cadence or Celestia or Luna or Twilight or maybe Starlight. I I'm not quite sure how that would work but I do feel like Chrysalis has the power to manipulate um, what she wants and even though that she's alone now I feel it's going to be um, I will not say a struggle to get rid of her but I really feel like there's more to Queen Chrysalis than we actually know about. Um, they can also be coming a whole new evil and you know something with the seven deadly sins or death or something in those lines but I don't feel like the show is going into that kind of dark route even though that I had the head cannons before this and I had the you know some thinking about the seven deadly sins it could actually be very nice to teach you know uh, young ones how to handle the seven uh, deadly sins so i would recommend that the show actually tackles you know stuff like that or tackles death uh, i know that we had the um, episode with tank and stuff like that where rainbow dash goes through the grieving and all of that all of the stuff uh, you go through when you're uh, yeah losing somebody but I really do want to have an episode where they really I will not say show it but it, it could be uh, that death has finally come to get uh, Granny Smith I don't know and how you know she will become um, I will not say accepting of it but 
you know, getting to a place where she wants to be and, you know, being honored or thankful or how to say that, that Applejack and Big Mac is going to take care of the farm with uh, Apple Bloom. And uh, now knowing that Apple Bloom can make the Apple Jam, sap Apple Jam stuff and she can also, you know, with her new cutie mark, we we don't know exactly exactly what her cutie mark is representing besides hel- helping others with their cutie mark. But I actually feel like she is the protector of harvest or the protector of the apple family or how to say that. And if some one of them is dying or one of them is, you know, leaving stuff behind, like for example, Granny Smith. I do believe that Apple Bloom is the one that can take upon, you know, the. I will not say the generation swift, but I would say that she is the one that I'm putting my bits on. Is going to be. Uh, I'll not say the new Granny Smith because that sounds wrong, but I really do feel like her. Cutie Mark represents so much more than just helping others uh, finding their special talents. So, and with the apple with a heart inside, I really do feel like it has something to do with either protection or love to her family or, you know, the protector of the harvest and love for, yeah, harvest and apples in general. and. All of the apples is representing her family, so I don't know, you guys. I maybe I'm just thinking too much about it, and she's just meant to be the cutie marks crusader and going to help others with the cutie marks meaning. And there's nothing more to the <laughs> CMC's cutie marks than that, but I really do feel like there is more, and they all three represent something for themselves and I have also talked about that in other videos so but I just wanted to make this video today because it's tomorrow it's Christmas and I was like feeling I was putting you guys a little bit aside and I'm sorry for that but it's Christmas and you know family comes first and all of this so family, friends, uh, boyfriend, everything else comes first, you know. Uh, I should actually have been making animation, artwork, uh, drawings and stuff, but I have just taken some days off. I feel like I'm more motivated now to get to do what I want to do. I can't wait to go to school again. <laughs> now I just I need to hold some vacation. That's true. Um, I shouldn't be pressuring myself this much, but I'm still hoping that you guys will stay around. Uh, I hope that you guys have fun on my channel. If there's something you would like to see me do into the future, I will probably try to do it. Um, if there's something you want to know about my OC or my channel or about me, uh, don't be afraid to ask. Uh, I don't feel like I'm going to make these uh, questions uh, and answers stuff because I'm not that big of a channel, so I don't feel like it's necessary. And also, all of you guys that have been here have been here for a long time, so. I don't think that you guys don't know stuff or else there's a link to my background story of my OC. So if you have any questions, start reading that and then come back with uh, your questions. Uh, but I'm open for anything and I hope that uh, I will see you guys soon enough. Maybe before the New Year's or after the New Year's. I'm not quite sure yet. But I hope that you guys have a lovely day. Uh, do remember that inspiration is right around the corner. Do remember to take care of yourself and your loved ones. And uh, yeah, that's actually all. Uh, Merry Christmas to you all. Okay, yeah. Bye.